Hi, Inspired family. This is Jen with Inspired Horsemanship on a Thursday morning. And I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about how hard it is getting old and trying to remarket your business that was very successful in another state. And putting myself out there is very hard. And doing this YouTube stuff and Instagram and Facebook stuff is hard. It's hard for me. Learning is hard. Doing this business today is hard. It's much easier just going out and giving uh, instruction to my students with their horses. There, I said it. But I'm here and I just wanna share with you, I'm going to keep on learning. I'm going outside of my comfort zone to try something new. Now I know what it feels like even more to be when horses are brought outside of their comfort zone, when things go too fast for them, too fearful for them, and when I can slow things down in a positive reinforcement, positive gentle man, um, management for them, their anxiety goes down. There's less fear and there might be a little bit more fun. So what I'm trying to do for myself is to surround myself with people who know what they're doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I know the old school methods of marketing my business back in Minnesota, but here in Florida, I feel like a little guppy in a big ocean of trainers, instructors, and Grand Prix and whatever else. So as a positive reinforcement instructor, trainer, educator, coach, where do I go to reach my my clients that would love to learn from me. So that's what I'm trying to do today. So I'm just asking you to um, watch my videos, support me if you want to, click on that like button, um, subscribe, whatever. That will help reach more people. I know it's kind of weird. I know a lot of people don't like doing that and I understand. But thank you for supporting my tribe. And that's what I'm trying to do to support your tribe. My old business is word of mouth. And today it has to be marketing. And so today I'm doing a, a funnel Zoom call. I don't even know what a funnel is, but it's a marketing for coaching. And so just know that I'm going way outside of my comfort zone. I'm probably the oldest person there at 66. So um, I'm vulnerable, but I'm awesome. I'm, I'm afraid a little, but I'm excited. And learning is one of those things that we have to do for a lifetime. So just remember that you're not alone. And I want to build a tribe of learners, of positive reinforcement learners, educators, horse people, and we're all can be here together as a community to keep growing in a safe environment. Blessings to you. We'll talk later. Thank you. When I Am an Old Horsewoman by Patty Barnhart. When I am an old horsewoman, I shall wear turquoise and diamonds and a straw hat that doesn't suit me, and I shall spend my social security on white wine and carrots, and sit in the alleyway of my barn and listen to my horses breathe. I will sneak out in the middle of a summer night and ride the old bay gelding across the moonstruck meadow, if my old bones will allow. And when people come to call, I will smile and nod, as I walk past the gardens to the barn and show instead the flowers growing inside stalls, fresh lined with straw. I will shovel and sweat and wear hay in my hair as if it were a jewel. And I will be an embarrassment to all who have not yet have found the peace in being free to have a horse as a best friend, a friend who will wait at the mid midnight hour with muzzle and a knicker and patient eyes for the kind of woman I will be when I am old.